at the 11th annual Third Eye Film Festival in San Francisco at the Castro Theater. You know, I always knew Sadhu Chipkar Pite, but unfortunately, liver cirrhosis is going to give you away. I am no one of significance. Kis maksad ki piche door le? We're celebrating 100 years of Indian cinema this year from the perspective of women filmmakers. How do you bring about change when you're very much a part of it? The film is about home and belonging. Women and girls in surfing. My mother and her obsession with the Lakers. Friendship is not going to be Cricket is not a sport. Cricket is a religion. She was auditioning for you the whole time. I mean, as you're going through it, you fall in love with these characters. Third Eye is fabuloso. Fantastic. Groundbreaking. A celebration. Loving. Surprising, crazy, sexy, cool. <laughs> Third Eye is awesome. <laughs> now, in its second decade, the Third Eye Film Festival continues to deliver hits. Oh. You should call it! Featuring stellar South Asian film fare from all over the world. It started off as a playful kind of playoff of Third Eye, which is internal reflection. And I think that's always been part of our focus. It's also third as in third world. So we're into sort of looking at marginalized communities like our own um, and within our own also. And in terms of also processing it and bridging all our communities and working towards change in some ways, through cinema, of course. This year, this fall rite of passage took over theaters in San Francisco, celebrating 100 years of Indian cinema and the role women have played. Women have a different experience in the industry, and so this is a way of bringing out their stories and of celebrating on our centennial the strides that women have made in, in the world of cinema. <laughs> One of the films denouncing injustice towards women was Gulabi Gang, Nishta Jain's documentary detailing the fight for women's rights. I mean, I hope that the film can start a dialogue wherever I show it. It's not just about India, but these problems are everywhere. Maybe there are different shades or a different percentage of problem, you know, but uh, intensity may differ in places, but it's there. From women's rights to the plight of the transgendered, Third Eye does not cower away from showcasing edgy or taboo topics. No, because you would be the most appropriate person on earth to know that I'm going to Thailand for sex. The only thing is he missed a word, sex change. Mohammed Tamaya tells the true story of a Tamil Muslim man's decision to go under the knife and become a woman. A tale that's been well received. World premiere, the first premiere of the short was at the Transgender Film Festival in Los Angeles. On Eid. On Eid yes. yeah. in 2011, November yeah. 2000. And I was scared that we'll be thrown out. Yeah. But we ended up getting the Audience Choice Award on our very first screening. And yes. that we just rode the wave from there. and filmed at, screened at 50 film festivals and won a few more awards and then we developed it into a feature length film. I am no one of significance. Overcoming odds is a recurring theme at Third Eye. Good Morning Karachi tells the story of a Pakistani girl at Crossroads. Should she pursue her career dream or forego it all for family? It's an aspirational story and it documents real lives. Realistic film, nothing has been dressed up, not even the heroine. It's as real life as it can be. So I just loved uh, that she was struggling, but we all struggle. So something we can all understand. Talk about cricket, think about cricket, write about cricket, live with cricket, eat cricket, drink cricket and sleep with cricket. A bevy of sports-related short-form and feature-length films also captured attention. No, no, no. That was good. Good ball. Basketball Mary John showcases one Desi mom's love for NBA basketball. It's a country of 1.2 billion people. I was like, no, it can't be possible. Surfing possibility? The Surfing Girls of India introduces us to India's first female surfer. 
सब लोग चिल्ला थे इधर ही कंप्लेन देने आते थे तुम्हारी अक्षय ऐसे करते अक्षय ऐसे करते इसके लिए मैंने चलो तुझे शिवाजी पार्क में डालती है तुझे चाहिए उतना मतलब वहाँ पे खेल and beyond all boundaries narrated by big bang theory's kunal nair weaves a distinct and powerful narrative through india's iconic sport cricket and he would dare to capture the stories of these three people for each of whom the sport of cricket is a way out of poverty and of struggle it's a it's a way to feel happy about their lives and also possibly a way out of poverty even for filmmakers without a film on display third eye is a powerful draw as it's one of the rare forums supporting new forms of south asian cinema to support the community and we came back cuz anuj and ivan are friends and hopefully at some point we'll screen our film at this festival though the first weekend of third eye is now a fond memory you still have a chance to cap some of these stellar films in palo alto this weekend at the aquarius theater to find out more log on to thirdeye.org/festival and don't miss these indie flick gems